Introducing the R47 calculator. This calculator was developed by a group of volunteer enthusiasts who donated their time generously to create this calculator. Uh, they were unpaid volunteers and they just decided that it's a good idea to make a, a new calculator because HP kind of quit making good calculators. So the first uh, attempt at that was this uh, calculator called the uh, WP34S, created by a couple of guys, Walter Bonin and Paul Dale. And they created this calculator, but as you can see, you have to put stickers on the, on the top of the keys. Look at this exit key, it's almost completely worn out. So these stickers, they're, they're, they do a good job of labeling what the functions and uh, all the keys do, but since you have to push right on those keys and they're they're just paper stickers they tend to wear out so what happened was uh, the there was a new calculator that came out by a company named Swiss Micros and they came up with this calculator called the DM42 it has a nice beautiful 400 by 240 pixel display it's got soft function keys at the top you can use to find it's got a big nice keyboard and uh, and so some people thought, well, why don't we reflash that calculator and create something that does almost the same thing as the the, uh, the WP34S. And they came up with one called the WP43, but that one also needed stickers on the key. So then they, that was forked into this project called the C47, which didn't need any stickers on the actual keys. They put an overlay behind just a paper sticker overlay over the top of the keyboard. And then they labeled these with yellow and blue functions. And to get to the blue functions, you had to push this yellow function key twice. And that, that required a lot of extra button presses that people didn't want, so they came up with this R47. And it's a pretty neat calculator. It's got all the features of an HP 16C, all the features of an HP 12C. It's got all, all the uh, capabilities of uh, all the scientific calculators, the WP40, the, uh, the uh, HP 42S. It's got uh, the capabilities of so many calculators. It does just about everything. Say you wanted to uh, do a home mortgage calculation. You could put this into the... Uh, um, menus and go to time value of money and uh, in here we can clear the time value of money values and you have a 300 let's say it's a 30 year mortgage 360 monthly payments put that in n now it knows because it knows it see here has payments per annum 12 it automatically knows you have to divide the interest rate by 12 which you have to manually do on an hp 12 c but on this one you don't have to so you can just put the uh, 6.9 percent mortgage interest rate right in there let's say $125,000 loan that's the present value of the loan and you can compute the future value just by pushing that button there's the future value of the loan and uh, if you want to compute the payment the payment is $823 a month so it's got all the features of an HP 12c right here in this calculator and it also has all the features of a HP 16c if you uh, if you uh, put this into uh, uh, say you want to go to the base menu here, and you can see I can put it into hexadecimal mode and put uh, 4 alpha 5 in there, enter, 2 times. You can say, uh, you can see it in decimal, that's the value in decimal, that's the value in hex, and, and octal, I'm sorry, that's the value in binary. And it does uh, bitwise operations and or exclusive or shift right shift left rotate right rotate left all those features are all in there you can change the word size to 64 bit 32 bit 16 bit 8 bit etc all of those features are in here too and uh, it does uh, operations directly on matrices for instance you can um, recall a matrix that's um, let's say uh, I got this matrix here and uh, put it into the matrix menu I can do things like compute the eigenvalue of a matrix. I can do the the uh, determinant of a matrix. I can do the transposition of a matrix. I can invert the matrix. All those features are right in there, and uh, it's um, it's got all that stuff, dot products, cross products, all built in. Now here's that uh, eigenvalue of that matrix, and you can see that there's the different values: 4.49, 2, 2, 2, and minus 4.4, 4.449. And uh, all of that stuff's in this calculator. 
It's amazing. It's got, uh, you can solve equations, systems of equations, perform definite and indefinite integrals. You can handle matrix and vector calculations, work with complex numbers, utilize base and arithmetic, provides 34 digits of precision with plus and minus 6144 on the exponent, uh, utilizes scientific calculator functions like trig and hyperbolic and logs, anti-logs, all that stuff's in there. It's got uh, two variable statistics where you can keep track of, you can put them in with a summation summation plus summation plus keep putting in the x and y values and then it'll plot the uh, uh the curve fitting to uh different equations parabolic linear all the different equation types you can tell it to plot it and guess what the best and it'll give you the equation for that that curve fit uh, it creates uh you can create user programs with keystroke programming you can put in your own custom programs you can create your own custom menus all of these menu items here i created myself there to make it um on that this particular menu here is is my creation and uh, you can create your own user custom menus you can even redefine all the keys on the keyboard if you want to it's got a pretty sophisticated processor it uses an arm cortex m33 running at 160 megahertz and if you have it plugged into the usb cable like i have here it goes at the full 160 megahertz if you uh unplug the USB cable, it runs at 48 megahertz, which is still pretty fast. And uh, this calculator does a lot of neat stuff. I hope you had fun watching this video. I had fun making it.